Hello YouTube, I'm Zach, you're watching Zach DTV, the place for interesting news from around the net. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at a lamb born in a Ziploc bag. We're going to look at Amazon Echo going way creepy on us. And to wrap it up, I want to talk about the coolest stroller any parent could ever buy. Remember, if you want more videos like this, go ahead and click that subscribe button over here. Or maybe the uh, one that's down here, I think it's going to be. And if you click that bell notification, you'll always know when I put up new content. All right, enough of that. Let's get right into it. In a paper that was published yesterday in the journal Nature Communications, Dr. Alan Flake from the Philadelphia Children's Hospital announced the first successful use of a fake womb. I know it basically looks like a big zipper bag with a lamb in it. And what they did is they successfully kept eight premature lambs alive for four weeks. They grew hair, they opened their eyes, moved around, learned to swallow, did all the stuff a fetus is supposed to do. And at the end of the study, they found there was no ill side effects to this at all. Proper brain development, proper lung development, everything seemed like it should be. Of course, these aren't human babies, but this is a great proof of concept for this fake womb, or they're calling it the bio bag. The biggest breakthrough here is a pumpless circulatory system. That has always been the problem with these fake wombs is you cannot force blood into an infant's heart it damages the heart tissue well they develop this circulatory system that relies on the actual heartbeat of the lamb itself to move the blood through instead of forcing the blood in it's a lot safer and a lot easier on a premature's heart they also came up with a proprietary pump system to move it's actually an electrolyte mix but it is sort of like amniotic fluid through the bag to help carry waste product out and circulate fresh amniotic fluid in. Now you know people never science just for the science. What they're doing here is they're hoping to build a system that will work for premature human birth. And of course, since this is just a proof of concept, Dr. Flake says that they're not looking for another three years before they get into human testing, at least. But this could be the first step towards a matrix type society or a society where women no longer carry pregnancies to full term because they won't have to anymore. Now, Dr. Flake did say on that that the woman and man is always going to be necessary to start the birth, but who knows what the future is going to hold. It'd be kind of neat if 20 years from now we look back at this and go, oh yeah, I remember when that first came out. Now my daughter doesn't have to carry a baby to full term. <laughs> they just have to go open the Ziploc bag. All right, now, that was a cool technological breakthrough. This next one is creepy. Building off their success of the Echo device, Amazon has decided to release a new member of its Echo line. This is called the Amazon Echo Look. The Amazon Echo is the next step into Amazon's desire to become a personal assistant, sort of like Siri or Cortana or any of those other ones that are out there. It is a full service Echo unit with a camera on it. It'll work via voice command to take photos, share them out on the web, capture video, that kind of stuff. So that way it's easier to share. It will also have a look feature where it can look at your wardrobe and decide based on current fashion trends, other things that you've told it you liked, if it is appropriate dress for you. That's kind of neat. Or it's kind of creepy. You have to remember this is an always on camera with an always internet connected device. Sure, it's designed to give you tips and stuff, but as part of the internet of things, these are actually very hackable. They also want you to keep this thing in your room where you get dressed. So this is guaranteed to see you naked. I know a lot of people out there that put tape over their laptop uh, camera. What are people going to do with this thing? If you're worried somebody's going to spy on you through your laptop, you better really be worried about this Echo. Or who knows, maybe some people like to get watched. And boy, the awesome tech just keeps rolling here. I have the coolest power wheels ever. This is the Dethrone. It is a $3,000 Power Wheels slash stroller. As you can see, it has the toe behind board with the joystick. You have full controls up there, diagnostic mode and everything, so that way you know what's going on with the machine. And you can take over control of it whenever your toddler isn't doing well. It also comes with an optional seat, so you can sit behind your child and help them learn to drive this. And the amenities. Oh my gosh, the amenities. It's leather wrapped steering wheel, leather seat, gold trim. It's actually a very pretty car. I mean, it's just like daddy's Rolls Royce. It even comes with a key fob so you can turn it off 
so that way nobody else can take off with it. And it has speed controls on it, so that way if you let your kid go, you can make him go faster or slower remotely. Fully loaded, this is the whole kit and caboodle, the extra seat, the gold trim, and even a USB charger for your kid's iPad. This thing comes to $3,052. It's built in South Korea, so you're going to have some shipping and handling charges there as well. And you know, just for example, a Power Wheels Viper will only cost you $352. About a tenth of what this thing is. But this thing sure is cool. And last, I just want to say, if you like what I do, your friends will too. So go ahead and click that share button. Put me out on Facebook, MySpace, Twitter, anywhere you might possibly share me. I'd be very appreciative. I do this five days a week, Monday through Friday. It is Wednesday, so I'll be back tomorrow. I'll see you then. Be safe.